Hey guys, Andy Sachs here with Keller Williams and the Around Town Real Estate Team for our second installment of the month of August for our twice monthly video blog series. And today I want to talk to you about the selling seasons of real estate. In my opinion, I've always observed three. The first one is right in the new year, typically mid-January to early February start, where you see that first uptick of inventory hit the market and buyers start to evaluate what's going on. The second, which we have concluded, starts in that traditional spring market, that April, May timeframe, where folks believe that's the best time to get to market, to close in time for back to school. And the third and final, final one, and don't rest on this one, actually starts right about now, end of August, right around Labor Day, when there's an uptick in inventory and buyers come back to market following the holiday season. Now you're thinking, well, Andy, it's not spring market. Kids are already back to school. Why would people want to buy and sell right now? Well, historically, you'd see these large peaks and valleys of when homes hit the market and when homes closed. Those peaks and valleys have muted over the years with a more transient society and, quite frankly, the advent of internet marketing for real estate. So if you're still thinking about buying or selling, you should see an uptick in inventory. And from a seller's perspective, you're going to see buyers re-entering the market who might have taken a little breather from this insanity that we've experienced in the pandemic sales market. If you have any questions about this or anything else you've seen over the years on our video blog, feel free to give me a call. My name is Andy Sachs with Keller Williams and the Around Town Real Estate Team, and we look forward to working with you soon.